feeling like you do not have enough time to do the things that you love while still aiming for top-notch grades? These are the study tips that actually help me save a lot of time and help me maintain a YouTube channel while still getting four flat results in UPM. I bet that at least one of these study tips you have never heard before. The first tip that was introduced by my dad was skimming through the notes very quickly right before the class. This is actually very useful because you can quickly get in line what the teacher or the lecturer is gonna teach. If you are skimming through very quickly, you will feel much more confident because you know what the lecturer is gonna teach and what the teacher is gonna teach. You can actually understand much better if you have not ever read it before. Once you are feeling more confident with the topic on itself, you will listen more to what the lecturer is gonna teach. You can also understand the angle and direction the lecturer is gonna use to teach this topic. Personally, I use 5 minutes per topic and do it the day before or right before the class starts. Since you are following through very easily, what I like to do is to conjure up the understanding and the concept and the imagination by myself. It's not that I want you to ignore what the lecturer or teacher is teaching, but sometimes what the teacher understands and how you understand is very different. So personally, I just do it myself. I like to conjure up the understanding by myself without the help of the lecturers. So what I do is to intermittently listen to what the class is about and then just try to keep in track whether or not my understanding and what the teacher is actually teaching is in line or not. I like to have the first-hand experience of understanding the topic by myself before being given the concept by the lecturers or the teachers. Because digesting and understanding the concept takes a lot of time. That is why we want to do it during the class. Instead of wasting time and not listening to anything in the class, might as well just think through the concept by yourself during class. You will feel more engaging and more challenging during class and you keep you in focus and in line with what the lecturer is trying to teach. We can't mention time management without mentioning scheduling. I know for a fact that it's very difficult sometimes to create a schedule every single day and it's quite troublesome. But trust me, it is very useful and worth it. The productivity for that day is gonna be off the roof and you will feel much better because you have completed the things that you actually want to do without procrastinating. Scheduling is like having an appointment for yourself. Appointment on the things that you want to do on that day. One of the things that people don't mention about scheduling and I think it's very important is that you don't need to spend mental energy on it. You need to decide on what the things that you want to do. It's not about discipline. In fact, it is the opposite of being disciplined with scheduling. You will feel much more relaxed and you will feel much better. No need to be too fancy about it and just use Google Calendar for all the scheduling needs. Try to schedule every single thing that you want to do during that day. From what time you want to eat breakfast, dinner or lunch and what are the entertainment that you want to do to relax yourself. What are the topics and the things that you want to study. What are the subjects and particularly how much question that you want to do during that day. Even when you are going to exercise, need to be in the schedule. Which brings us to the next point about having a healthier lifestyle. Healthier lifestyle plays a bigger role than most people think. Imagine a car engine. For it to work well, we require good fuel, good lubrication and also good maintenance which work exactly like your brain which requires good sleep, good food and also good exercise. Most people think that they can study more if they are skipping out on exercising but actually it's the opposite. You can actually study more but spend less time on studying on itself because once you exercise, and have a good sleep schedule, your brain can work much better and much more efficiently. Do you want to have a slow moving car that runs for a very long time or do you want to have a fast car that reaches its objective very quickly? Personally, what I found is that when I'm exercising, I'm clearing my mind up and I'm creating new ideas and new ways to understand certain concepts which saves me a lot of time. Just having a long walk or a small jog is sufficient already. The next tip is going to be the most impactful one, so listen carefully, which is about the fragmented time usage. I know that it's very tempting to scroll through TikTok or Reels in between classes when you have 5 minutes or 15 minutes in between intervals. What I realized is that after calculating all these time intervals and time fragments that I have throughout the day, it actually adds up quite a lot. Especially I spend a lot of time in the bus going between the hostel and the class. This is actually a major reason why most people ask how I'm able to do so much time in such a short amount of time. You can actually go back to the first day and use the 5 minute right before the class to skim through the notes. Instead of thinking that you need a long block of time, a long amount of time just to study a subject, instead, even a 5 minutes fragment time can be used to study anything. Just do it as much as you could and then you will realize that, oh my god, this is actually a lot of time that I'm missing out. The next one is gonna be the most cliche one which is mentorship guiding. Most people is gonna ask, if they don't understand the subject, how do they teach the subject? Alright, this is actually what I do. I pretend to know everything and understand the subject a 
topic very well and everybody is asking me the question it forces me to quickly understand what is the topic and subject is about and sometimes if I really don't understand I will just discuss with the person who asked the question this is to ensure that I do not mislead anyone it's very useful for both of you to force each other to understand the concept quickly it creates opportunity for you guys to teach each other about a topic that you guys don't really understand I know that it is very lazy and tiring sometimes to think through concepts so I use this method to force myself to learn you'll be surprised by how fast you are learning with this method the last tip is gonna be the most secretive one because no one ever mentioned about it I actually learned this from one of my friends who uses TikTok to study for his math and also science subject for me I like to use YouTube and also podcasting to listen to stuff whenever I want because this platform oftentimes is much more engaging and fun to use what I like to do is to listen to podcasts even when I'm in the bus or walking to class you can follow content creators who are actually related to the subject that you are studying on TikTok, YouTube or even other platforms so you can relax productively without worrying that you are wasting your time on this platform you don't need to be too serious when you're using all these platforms just relax and enjoy the process of learning while entertaining yourself I almost forget to mention that documentary are very useful to learn about historical subject and also geographical subjects instead of saving time on studying you might be interested in how to memorize everything more effectively and this video is gonna help you a lot with it